Hi all, this is a quick video to show you how to use a form like this in Power Automate. Right? And how to use a, a custom, how to use this, this display uh, custom form. And then how to use this uh, custom object, right? Um, custom object object which has the input from your for your form, and use it for your flow. My name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use Office Work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Okay, let me start. So, so in February 2022, Microsoft just uh, published this uh, new uh, version of Power Automate Desktop, which has this display custom form. Right? You click display custom form, click on custom form designer, click on uh, preview form here. So this is the form that I've shown you just now. And this is the way how you set it up, right? So you can uh, use text input, number input, date, input time input, toggle input, choice and input, file input. Um, then you can put in your image, your text block, and then you can submit or you can open URL. So um, for this project, I have used a uh, number input here. Right, so this ID is very important. Corrected length. This, this, this will be used uh, later on in your workflow. So these names are very important. So the rest you can figure out yourself. Um, and then, um, then I have used text input as well. And then remember ID. Okay, so this is uh, make sure it's a unique ID because this will be used for your flow later. And another thing to note is this validation um, required tick. So you need to use it for at least a few of uh, one or one or more of your uh, input. So this is to determine whether this input is required or not. Right. Once you set up your form here, right. Okay. Once you key in, right? Once you key in uh, your input, right? Let's say A, B, C. Press OK. Right? Once you have your, once you key in your input, it will store in this custom form data, right? Custom form data here. Click on the trip more action, then click on view, right? You can see the inputs uh, data that you have. So just um, for me, it's character length, letter one and letter two. I leave the rest as a blank, right? So how do you use this value of character length or or letter one or letter two, which I have uh, key in as five A and B and C, right? To use it is actually um, if you go, if I go to here. So this is the if, right? So this one, I want it to equal to the uh, character length. So what I put is uh, n percent custom form data, right? Which is this one, custom form data, custom form data. Then I put the ID. So I open bracket dash. Character length, sorry, apostrophe, character length, apostrophe, and n percent. So this is how you use the form. Um, I hope this video has helped you.
if it helps you please give it a like and please remember to subscribe thank you